Hello everyone, in this video, we will look at some tools that commonly use for motion trace, and some tips of when is the right time to reset our model to default clip pose. This tutorial is part of my previous video about motion trace, or rotoscope in iClone 8, another amazing features of iClone which to be released this coming spring of 2022. Now guys, let's get straight into topic and let's get started. Here guys, let's talk about motion clip, motion layer, how to reset body parts using keyframes. The function of motion clip align tool, flatten motion clip, sample motion clip and the merge tools. This is my latest project guys, I collected here the parts of the video where the model should be reset to its default pose. I have different example to show you guys, a different scenarios where you might encounter. I also merged here some of the motion clips, later I will talk about why. Okay guys, let's start with the align tool, this tool is a friend of motion trace or rotoscope. You will see how to use it in the motion trace. Let's begin with this example. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the model at this frame. But first let's move our viewport over here. Let's use the dancer's right foot as a reference. Because once we reset our model it will move to other location. This align tool will help us to bring back our model to her original location. Let me first show you guys. What will happen if the model root motion layer is misaligned? She will jump to a different location. See guys. Now let's align our model guys, and choose the right leg option, because we use the dancer's right foot as our reference. By the way guys, the dancer's pivot is her right foot. That's is why we used it as a reference. I hope you got what I mean. Let's move on to the next example, this scenario is one good example guys. Have a look at our model pose and the dancer pose. It's difficult for us if we copy the dancer pose from that position. So it's really nice and quick easy way if we reset the model first, align the model then copy the dancer. Now guys, let's jump on to the third example, then we will go to the next topic which is about the flatten motion clip, sample motion clip and merge clip tools. In this example our reference is the dancer left foot. Always use the pivot as a reference but sometimes there's a scenario where both feet move to a different location, like the example that I shown you in my previous tutorial. Use the align root option guys when you encounter that. Try to use the mirror function guys, this really helps to make your job easier. Here are some tips guys, if you want to move the model's body or the model chest, try to lock both left and right wrist of the model, then use the rotate tool. Same with the hips and belly. Look what is the difference between the lock and unlock wrist. When the wrist is unlock, then rotate the chest, the head will also move. Now if you wanna make her dance like belly dancing, do the same thing, lock both wrists and use the rotate tool.
Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna explain about the flatten motion clip in the sample motion clip tools. I always flatten the motion clip before I move on to the next clip. Because I think the more keyframes there are, the more RAM the computer can use. Like this one guys. Although that is not the main function of that tool, this helped my CPU reduce the usage of virtual memory. I'll talk more about this guys, as we go with other example. Now if we want to restore the keyframes because sometimes there is an instant that we will need the keyframes especially if we want to reset a body parts of our model. The easy way to do this is through the usage of the sample clip tool. Just simply right click the motion clip and you will see the sample motion clip tool. We have three option there but mostly I use the second one, the sample all parts per frame. If you want to reset the body part do not press the reset command here. Just simply delete the keyframe of the body part you want to reset. I also mentioned in my previous tutorial. We do not want to merge our motion clip. Unless we already applied the corresponding transition preset for the motion clip. Because once we merge all the motion clip it will be difficult for us to apply the transition curve in the time warp. Let me show you why guys. Let me show you before and after we applied the time warp to the combined motion clip. Let's play first the video guys, and check the cell unit, it's equally distributed. But once we apply the time wrap and let's say we choose the ease in and out. Look what will happen to the cell unit. The distribution is changed, it's now compressed to the center. And look how it will affect the video clip, the video and the model are out of sync now. Let me remind you guys, this motion clip is composed of more than two clips. And in most case we only apply time warp if we want to speed up, or make a slow motion clip. I just show you this guys, because motion trace is a bit different, we have a video and music that we need to follow or synchronize. Now let's jump to this example. Here I will talk about why we need to apply the transition curve first before merging the clips. I made another project to easily show the effect of the transition curve on motion clip. I made a superhero landing to our model, composed of three motion clip only. Have a look at this guys, the transition applied to the clip is just a simple linear curve. She landed subtle or flat. Now I will apply this damping transition preset. Look what will happen guys, it gives more life to her landing, the impact is more realistic now. Try to apply this preset to every clip guys. Try to experiment and play around and you will see the amazing result, or if you have curve editor installed, use it. By the way guys, I can't use the curve editor now because I haven't installed it yet. Now let me remove the transition, and let's merge these three clip, and apply the same curve that we use. Look guys, nothing happened. So it's really important to turn off the auto extend first. Okay guys, let's apply the transition first before merging these three clips. I think this is where we can apply the time warp guys. After we merged these clips, we can now apply the flattening tool. It is here where I use the flatten tool guys, whenever I merge the clips. Then, in Time Warp, I choose Custom so I can play around with all the option. Try to adjust and play on every option here guys. I frequently use this, in fact it is one of my favorite tools. 
If you learn how to use it right, you'll enjoy it. Remember guys, iClone is made for animation. Look guys. With this tools we can make a landing smooth or more intense. For my opinion we can apply the time warp in motion trace if there is a single action animation loop only. Like this example now. I don't know how to explain it guys, but I hope you got the idea. I wish I could explain it well. One more thing guys, if the motion clip has not yet combined, we still have full control within the clip. It will be easy for us whenever we want to go back and fix from previous clip. Let me take you to this example guys, have a look at her right arm. This is a scenario where the model right arm bone is dislocated. It looks normal guys, but it's already dislocated. We will not notice this until we move or rotate the model arm. Look guys, I already in this keyframe when I found out this problem, now because I haven't merged the motion clips, it will easy for me to fix it. Let's apply the sample motion clip tool, here we can use either per frame option, or sample selected part. We can use all of these three option but for this tutorial, let's try to use the selected part only. We will encounter a lot of this during the process, this is also one reason why we need to reset our model. I think this is where the dislocated bone begins. So we have to reset these three clips here. But in this case I will only reset her right arm bone. Just delete the extracted keyframe to reset the parts. Let's take a quick look at this another example, this would be the last. Look at her belly, it looks normal too but if you take a closer look at the gizmo. The X position is facing with different direction compared with the model tummy. If we check the hip bone here in the bone setting, we will find out that this is already dislocated. Now guys. Even if we didn't notice this it will be fixed every time we reset the model. On the other hand, if you notice this. Try to reset the keyframe of Terso but make sure to find the reference leg before doing this option. Sometimes resetting the keyframes of the body part is better option than resetting the whole model, so you will not be spending a lot of time modifying or copying the dancer. Look the difference of the gizmo now, after we fix the bone. Okay guys, I hope this video helped and give you more idea about motion trace or rotoscope. I haven't tried the rotoscope in iClone 8 but I think there are some method here that we can also use when learning the rotoscoping. If you enjoyed watching this video guys. Please share it and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Keep safe and peace to all.